Whoa! What the heck's going on here? Our guest has awoken, my love. Ah. Good evening, dear Good King. evening. I do not believe we have been properly introduced. I am Count Kaldor, former lord of the realm of Colima. May I present my wife, Countess Lavidia? A pleasure Lavidia. to see you again. In gratitude to you for alerting me to my wife's grave condition, I took the liberty of preparing you a dish. I hmm. thought you might be hungry after your harrowing adventure at my window. You will forgive us if we do not join you. Our tastes differ from yours. Do they not, my darling? Yes, you shall to think what different tastes actually means. Mm. But for some reason you note that you can no longer hear any rats squeaking in the distance. Yeah, I guess not. Indeed. So much to become accustomed to. You shall have all the time that the world has to share to grow accustomed to such things. Well, perhaps thirty years. Should the father locate the item by then, there might not be enough world left for anyone afterwards. Has this father to do with why you frequently went abroad, always with that cloak of yours? Most certainly. But I think that my affiliation with him and his association hmm. has come to a close. Really? My obligations to them took me away from my beloved too often. I do not wish to repeat that mistake. You are forgiven, my love. Their attention, which seemed to have wavered momentarily, now Vampires are so romantic. to you. Well, well, well. What to do with this one? What were you going to do with him? Kill him. I had quite clear instructions from Hagatha, who had apparently received them from the father himself. But if you are not, as you say, affiliated with his association anymore... They both share a knowing smile. Tell us, King Graham, why are you here in Colima? You take a deep breath, trying to ignore the fact that you are the only one capable of doing so, and relate your story of the vision in the magic mirror and your quest to find the three gems of nature. The Count and Countess exchange cryptic smiles. Commencing the stone. Indeed. Indeed. Obviously, that was a private joke, as you did not understand it. Of course. So you search for the one with which you would share the rest of your life. On that, I cannot fault you, nor on your intentions here. Therefore, I can forgive the trespassing. However, there is the matter of the dark gem you wish to remove from my castle. Yes, I would like to do that. I place a deal before you. I am looking for a magnificent sapphire encrusted tiara. It is a valuable family heirloom and okay. has been on this estate for centuries. Okay. This castle and its estate are old though. It could be virtually anywhere in any number of hiding places. I suspect there are many that even I am not aware of. I wish to present this tiara to my wife as a gift to commemorate the eternity we shall spend together. If you can find it and bring it to me before sunrise, then I will give you the gem you seek and your freedom. You nod, unable to believe that you have virtually been ushered away from death's door just so you can run an errand for a couple of vampires. You do not want to think about the consequences if you fail to meet the deadline. Rush is here. Heat is on. The Count is a tall, fearsome-looking man. His chalk-white skin, ruby-red lips, and protruding fangs give you the chills. Look at the lady. The Countess is a slender lady who bears some resemblance to the elderly woman she once was. 
A black velvet gown graces her figure and makes her appear genuinely regal. Like the Count, her skin is chalk white and her lips are blood red. Let's talk to her a bit. Uh, save her progress. Uh... Dinner with vampires. Our vampire dinner. So, I have until just before sunrise to retrieve this tiara? That is correct. And if I am unable to before that time? The Count's eyes glint red as he looks directly into your own. For your own sake. I shall hope uh -oh. that you are successful. You bravely suppress a shudder. It seems clear that you are not off the hook yet. The Count has nothing more to say to you at the moment. Stuck to his wife? Even bloodthirsty vampires would think you were strange for talking to inanimate objects. Okay. Pardon my asking, but as the Countess of this realm, I presume you have lived in this castle before now? Yes. That is so. Then how did you come to live in that old house by the sea? After my husband died, I continued to live in the castle for a time. I watched my newborn son grow into a man, marry, and have a child of his own. Hmm. Possum. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Shortly after her birth, however, my son and his wife both befell a tragic end at the hands of... Who? The Countess looks pained and appears unable to continue. I apologize if I have caused you to relive your grief. A vampire cannot truly feel grief, but perhaps my wife still recalls hers. I shall continue for her, if you so wish. Please do. Please, if I may know, yes. how were your son and father lost to you? They were slain. By the Brotherhood. Uh oh. The brotherhood? The brotherhood. You have met them at the church. Ah, Your the werewolves. Reels, so that is the connection. Okay. Now we're getting to the bottom of this. Why would the Brotherhood kill your heirs? Oh. Oh. As you have just guessed. The Brotherhood wish an end to the reign of my family. Why else would they give you the means to penetrate my domain so that you could do their dirty work for them? The cross key. Exactly. Stolen from me through stealth. And their own brand of magic. The really? counts of Colima have all descended from a single bloodline. We have always been partial to change as opposed to the stagnating status quo of the Brotherhood. Hmm. Over the last few decades, the Brotherhood have tried to dispose of my family as best they could. Hmm. That which I am now was brought about by them. They were the ones who set the monstrous, infected bat upon me. Long have I cursed my ineptitude. I should have used magic to defend myself. Do not be so hard on yourself, my dear. I remember that night well. That hideous creature gave you no chance. Perhaps. But I should have awoken from my dark sleep sooner. Then I would have been able to protect our beloved son and his wife, and you would not have been forced to flee the castle. To live out your days in that wretched old house, under a false identity. It was not so bad a time. Dear little possum loved it. Mm. I hope she will be as happy in her new home. She has a new life now, with no reason to fear anymore. This brotherhood. Are they real monks? Hmm. They were once, but something happened to them. What was that? Folklore would have you believe that Weirwood Forest is a host to certain entities. Spirits of the wild, they are called. Hmm. And what of them? I believe the monks encounter these spirits. What occurred specifically is beyond anyone's knowledge but their own. Hmm. But it is evident that the men were given the ability to transform themselves. Unfortunately, 
their and werewolves were apparently transformed also. They began to believe they were destined to rule, and since have presented great danger to myself and my family. So the danger you face is not a result of some decades-old feud? Not at all, dear king, though history mm. will likely reflect such. But, to answer your question, the members of the Brotherhood are no longer the goodly monks they once were. Mm. They do not represent their fellow brethren well. Talk some more. The Count has nothing more to say to you at the moment. Right, let's look at the dinner table. An entire smorgasbord adorns the tabletop. It sits upon an elegant blood-red tablecloth. The Count is a tall. You seem to have lost your appetite for eating at the moment. What else is on the you table? You take the ham from the dining table. All right. Let's examine it, the ham. The smoked ham has a wonderful savory smell. It's hard to resist tasting it. It looks as though someone has taken a bite out of it. The ham feels succulent and tender. You seem to have... You see... You see... All right, we've done enough here. Vampire dinner. We're going to take a break. We've saved our progress. Vampire dinner. We're going to uh, take a break, gamers, and we'll continue another day. And we'll continue our mission to, for the Terra so we can receive the, the death gem. Dost thou truly wish to cease our adventure? Yes, let's take a break. Because we truly believe it's our web and we need to fix it together. So ask yourself this question. Do you want a web browser made for the internet of today? If so, try Brave. It's faster, safer, and ad-free. It's easy to support Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Download the Brave browser. Click on the link https colon forward slash forward slash brave.com forward slash vid 610.